Chrono Trigger! Yay! I like this game. Hi everybody! There's really not a whole lot of news this week because of the earthquake and such. Um, but Johnny has uh, various charity activities that he has started um, and I will talk a little bit about that. The biggest news is that Johnny's and Associates will be releasing a charity CD. Um, we're not sure when it will be out but most of the Johnny's talent will be on it. Except Toma's not going to be in it and that makes me sad. However, along with the CD release, there will be supporting events uh, that go along with it. It seems that Arashi will be in the group um, that does the CD, so I'll be keeping my eyes and ears peeled for more information on that to come. At the moment, I don't know how much the CD will be, but I do plan on, on purchasing it as long as it's not a ridiculous amount of money because I, I don't really have a whole lot of money right now. Johnny's has also halted all their concerts at the moment. Um, to conserve energy and because uh, they're not having any concerts at this time, Johnny's has decided to provide their concert trucks and electricity trucks to the relief effort. So that's really cool. They're, they're just um, giving them full use of, of all their trucks, you know, whatever they need to use them for, um, transferring people, transporting um, goods, you know, whatnot. Um, I think that's really awesome. Adashi has also come out with a message to the victims and people who are affected by the earthquake on um, Shiagare this last week. Um, and they offered, you know, their condolences and basically said that the only thing that they can really do is continue to be the, the same old Arashi that they've always been and, you know, try to, you know, give everybody a smile even just for a moment. And of course they are doing what they can do to donate. They also sang Hatenai Sora in hopes to kind of lift people's spirits and Kaibutsu-kun, um, Ono as Kaibutsu-kun came on and made a special announcement to the children, the little kitties of Japan, and he basically told them that, you know, they should listen carefully to their mothers and fathers, um, conserve energy as much as possible, and continue to support the ki other kids that are in trouble or need help. I, I thought it was a really cute message, and I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of kids that kind of idolize Kaibutsu-kun, so I think it was a really good idea for them to do that. And of course, Ono did an awesome job. He just totally oozes Kaibutsu-kun. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because he's been filming for the, the movie recently. Okay, so on to the question of the week. Um, the question last week was different than the one that's the top this week, um, and I kind of feel like it's not fair to that person if I just skip over it, um, because technically I was supposed to do one last week. So anyways, um, I'm going to answer that question this week, and the question is, do you have a favorite interview if so, why? And what makes it memorable or likable and or thought-provoking? Well, um, I'm assuming by when she says interview, she's talking about magazine interviews. There is one interview um, of Nino where they kind of follow him around for a few days. And this was around the time when he was um, doing promotions for Letters from Iwo Jima. And I find that one really, really interesting. But, um, since that's a video, I won't talk about it, because I'm assuming that she meant uh, magazines. So, I do in fact have a favorite magazine interview. I do like a lot of Adashi interviews, almost all the ones that I've read. Um, I've not really found any of them boring or uninteresting. Um, usually there's always something in there that makes me smile or think or or I come away with something, you know, after I read them. But uh, when I saw this question, one interview popped up in my head immediately and it kind of stood out among all the other ones that I, I was thinking about. It's an interview in the October issue of More in 2009. Uh, it's a bit old, but it's titled The Scenery as Seen by Arashi. It was actually translated very nicely uh, by a live journal user named Barbosa2007 and I will have a link to it in the description box. So uh, if you'd like to see it, go check it out there and down there and if you can, leave a comment because translating is such a time-consuming thing and you know, she or he translated it for free so you know 
That's the least we can do. Anyway, um, the reason I like this interview so much is because, uh, one, it is written absolutely beautifully, um, and two, I feel like the interviewer was able to kind of capture Arashi in such a way that it's almost the way, exactly the way that I feel about them. And I even have part of the interview in my profile on LiveJournal, um, Barbosa 2007 translated it as Everyone strolls towards the trees where the peach-colored flowers are in full bloom. Nino whispers something into Ono's ear, making him chuckle. Matsumoto smiles as he takes in the sight of the two of them. Sakurai walks slightly ahead of the others, and Aiba falls in step next to him. Isn't that just... lovely? I, I really just... I feel like it was written so great. And, um, of course, there are men member interviews and, and more in that uh, it's really great read. I recommend it if you have not read it yet. And of course there's also the recent TV guide if you have not read or heard about it um, where Ono and Nino talk about what they did the night before <laughs> and Ono says he took a bath for three hours and thought about Nino the whole time and then he drew a picture of Nino. I love interviews like that. I just... I do. And with that, uh, that's all I have to say to you guys. Oh my goodness. I will see you all next week, and I will be playing my Chrono Trigger. Bye!